is uh, is there a, is that true pogela patient was a bit rebellious with christianity or he no. had just issues with sorry english so both are true actually if you want me to respond to this uh yeah so the last part of the question is or issues with missionaries so he had uh, problems on both all these friends he moonu sangadigalum pulikaran abhiprayam vyathasundu so he was not very happy with or he had korakkad uh, academic ad parayanengil he had a critique of all these three uh, entities yeah uh, re- this rebelliousness with christianity was uh, more philosophical hmm? Uh, but that is not unusual if you look at the history of christianity globally you will find a lot of such people in various parts of the world at various times even in ancient times medieval times and modern times in europe and uh, in both uh, europe and non european uh, part of the world and therefore it is not unusual it, the kind of problems he had with christianity was not unusual but he adine unusual aaki maatunnathu he he was able to give a critique of christianity from the context of travancore travancore in the context la oru critique kodukunnu adinathu adilekku nayikkunnathu actually caste issues again or sort of disappointment people of that generation had not just himself so he was probably hearing the kind of uh, you know problem that 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 particular generation of oppressed caste that is who joined who the part of the missionary church has felt and at the other thing they were critiquing one because he was a good scholar of bible as i understand from whatever the missionaries themselves wrote about him in fact uh, w stephens na ko parayna aalkare so he was ba- stephens was based in tiruvalla who had a lot of contact with uh, this man and many others who wrote about him w a stephens was a missionary appo avarokke devathinte prasangangale aale vittu kepichathund so and he, they also wrote about what sort of critique he had about uh, christianity etc avashe remember as a person uh, he continued to be a christian yeah whatever it means and that is also not unusual അതായത് പലതരത്തിലുള്ള ഈ ബൈബിളിൻ്റെ ക്രിറ്റീക്കും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ബൈബിളിൻ്റെ വേൾഡ് വ്യൂവിൻ്റെ ക്രിറ്റീക്കും ഉള്ള ആളുകൾ തന്നെയും ഇൻ മെനി പ്ലേസസ് ദേ കണ്ടിന്യൂ ടു ബീസ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ഹിസ് കേസ് എവറിബഡി നോസ് ദാറ്റ് എക്സെപ്റ്റ് ദോസ് ഹു ആർ ദൈ ഹാർഡ് ഹു വാണ്ട് ടു ഡിനായ് ദിസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി എവറിബഡി നോസ് ദാറ്റ് ഹി ലിവ് ആൻഡ് ഡൈഡ് ആസ് എ ക്രിസ്ത്യൻ ബട്ട് നോട്ട് ഇൻ ദ കൺവെൻഷണൽ സെൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് Uh, he cannot be thought of as a conventional uh, person he had his own opinion about most of the things he had a critique of the bible and the practice of the church and of course uh, he had a critique of uh, syrian dominant caste syrian christians as well and uh, he had some differences of opinion with the missionaries also but uh, that was i think uh, quite marginal to Uh, the first two critics for example you find him uh, being part of at least uh, for a while not not in the, as a movement uh, he was quite uh, favorable towards reverend cook uh, who was the first pentecostal missionary in travancore and this is uh, mentioned in uh, books on cook this particular aspect is mentioned and therefore what uh, my cook uh, responds is that uh poyel johannan had a critique of christianity uh and also uh yeah so he had a critique of syrian christian social practices and also the caste question within the church and a little bit disagreements with the missionaries but the missionaries <coughs> who reported sorry who reported on him uh would say that he is a fine person uh he was, they they were very much impressed by the intelligent uh, intelligent arguments and also uh, the intellect of this man that was beyond any doubt so they all accepted him to be a a person endowed with all the faculties uh, his felicity in malayalam language his understanding of the bible 
and all that and uh, that they have accepted they never said that this person is uh, a thoroughly uneducated person they never said so they always said that he is a fine person with uh, good qualities and they even said that one of the problems of cms was that they did not have at that point of time uh, you know people uh, who could really meet uh, poigil on his turf i mean to challenge the ideas of this man so they uh, the missionaries felt that they needed uh, people with uh, good learning not uh, preachers uh, to meet uh, yohanan on his own ground so therefore you see uh they had a very complex uh, understand i mean their understanding was complex in certain in certain ways they understood uh, this man as a real formidable challenge in the central shavanagar area and uh, that was due to all this but remember it does not mean that uh, he one day proclaimed himself to be a non christian so i haven't seen any sources that will uh, proclaim that that would you know testify to the fact that uh poigail johannan uh, you know proclaimed himself as not a christian so we don't have a uh, historical sources of that kind i think uh, those are i mean uh, you see what happens uh, to people of that kind uh, people who are with a great mission in life you cannot or uh, however we want we cannot put them in into boxes and uh, that's not a good historical thinking or that's not a good social science way of looking at this see it is one thing to think of somebody as a divine god like figure and it's another thing to understand uh, that person as a human being as and when he lived and in the case of this man and you will see that even when he was alive uh people really thought that he had prophetic power and the missionaries also thought uh, so missionaries thought that people were thinking about him as having as somebody with the prophetic power not that they thought of him as a prophet because they are protestant christians and they will never think so but uh, they definitely knew that the rank and file of his movement thought of him as a uh, person with prophetic power and that prophetic power comes from uh, his own understanding of protestant christianity and a critique of it all of these are included in it so therefore i think the uh, the challenge is to understand uh, poigel johannan in the context of a complex life that he led in the complexities of that time and the kind of enga- intellectual engagement he had with bible and his critique of that as much as his critique of uh, the missionaries and others but eventually what will happen is that uh, his is and uh, he was using the prophetic language and that's uh, that was a different project and uh, missionaries did not like that because for them uh, to assume uh, you know the the role of a prophet would mean that this is a heresy so they have used the same word to describe him and therefore what i would suggest as a student of history and as a researcher in history and social sciences is to understand uh, him or for that matter any other individual any other system builder uh, you know exactly in the context in which uh, he or she lived rather than uh, imposing some of our preconceived notions on this particular person look at uh, the contemporary sources how we see it talked about and listen to the community that uh, had a diff- uh, sort of ideas so that's what i did the community thought of him at that point of time as a person with a prophetic power and even some thought uh, with a divine power but uh, he was not a divine of that kind so although he would combine all this so therefore uh, social sciences enterprise will be different even as we uh, understand the religiosity of people as very very significant uh, we also need to think of this as a human person who lived and uh, he had uh, fantastic ideas i think uh, those are very beautiful aspects of what he has been saying and therefore we need to uh, look at uh, this complex uh, you know negotiations he had and also the 
uh, complexity of this individual himself and also the expectations of people. Now, any pro any prophetic movement or any uh, what I can say charismatic movement for that matter, where does uh, charisma reside? It's in the minds of the people, and not in that person actually. That person is like any of us. <coughs> yeah. So people imbue power uh, to such individuals, and therefore. Uh, uh, so as a student of history or someone who is doing research of this kind or who did that sort of research, I suggest that uh, we need to look at the complex uh, situations that created an individual like him. And I think uh, missionary Christianity was very much there. If there was, I mean, it is difficult to conceive of such an individual without uh, missionary Christianity, the larger context of colonialism and things of that kind. And today people think that uh, uh, if somebody says that uh, colonial, it is bad and so on, that's not, we are talking about uh, social, cultural, political context. That's what is in a shorthand people refer to as colonial. It's not a bad word at all. Although, you know, colonial practices, we never want anybody to do that. Uh, but when we use a word like colonialism, it is to show uh, the complexity of the society in which they lived. Yeah. So it's a long thing and we don't have much time to, yeah, whatever I wanted to say on this, it is uh, available in my book. And yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, 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 the last question, which is what I said, uh, will we have an opportunity not missionaries are not here. Yeah, it's quite unlikely because that's what uh, the my sense of uh, social science and history would tell me. Because every individual is a product of his context, uh, even as we uh, attribute divine powers to them. Uh, and as I said, sometimes so secular social sciences uh, were not very uh, what I can say um, easy with such figures. But now we have a uh, lot of academic uh, researchers on in, uh, such individuals, not just from Kerala, but all over the world. We have a lot of people from uh, other parts of India, as well as from, I don't know, uh, as well as from other parts of the world. And, and therefore, uh, what I would, uh, therefore, what I want to suggest is that uh, colonialism was uh, definitely a very, important moment, yeah? And uh, that's what uh, created all this, even all the great so-called figures of modern India, all political leaders, social critics, all of them were products of colonialism, yeah? And therefore, uh, you know, and also uh, those uh, great leaders of the church uh, from the Arith communities, if you want to name, uh, me to name them, like uh, Bishop Asaria, uh, from Andhra Pradesh. They were all products of the missionary labor. And therefore, uh, I think the best thing is to look at the uh, complexity of that society rather than bringing in our little, little boxes and trying to, you know, measure people within that, which is, I think, a violence that uh, we are doing. Thank you.